look at. But these are all the medications that are approved for osteoporosis in the United States. Just to point out that there's two basic classes. There's anti-resorptives. So those are medications that keep you from breaking down bone that you've already made. And again, Fosamax, the most commonly used. Reclast is an intravenous bisphosphonate that's commonly used. And then Prolia or denosumab, um, which um, is also become popular and is also given by primary care physicians, even more so than endocrinologists. Um, and then there are the anabolic drugs. So those are drugs that stimulate new bone. Um, the two purely anabolic drugs that are approved are Forteo and Timlos. Um, they're given as a single injection every day you give yourself. They're, they're generally only used for two years um, and, um, and, and they're very effective. And then finally, the newest drug is bromozosumab or Avenity. And that's, um, that's uh, different than any of these drugs because it has both anti-resorptive and anabolic effects. So it does both. It stimulates new bone and it keeps you from breaking down bone. Um, and it's also very effective. And, and you can see that they can reduce the risk of vertebral fractures very, very well. But all of these drugs, when you, you know, can't essentially cure osteoporosis, you can't take someone who is, you know, an 80 year old postmenopausal woman who has um, a bone T score of minus three, and there's no drug that you can give for any amount of time. Unfortunately, that can, that can take that person's bone density and make it normal and make, and, 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 convey a fracture risk that is similar to that patient when they were 40. Those are the tools we don't have yet. You know, that's what we're working towards. Uh, but we are pretty good at particularly reducing spine fractures, but also hip fractures and other fractures.